Hello everyone and welcome back to this beginners friendly MATLAB tutorial. In this video, I'll guide you through the step by step process of creating a 3D surface plot in MATLAB by using the surf function. So, whether you are just starting up with a MATLAB or looking to improve your 3D data visualization skills, this video is just a perfect starting point for you. So, a surface plot is basically a 3D representation of data that helps you understand that how values changes across a two dimensional space. So, engineers, scientists, and students commonly use it to visualize mathematical functions, topographic surfaces, simulation results, and many more. So, let's get started. So, we need to click on new script so a window pop up in front of us that is our editor window so before diving into the code you must need to know that uh, for creating a surface plot you need to follow the three steps so the first step is to create a grid initially in the xy plane that basically covers the domain of a function the second step is to calculate the value value of z at each point of the grid and the third step is to create the surface plot so for that we need to start our code from clc clear all and close all after that we need to define the range for x and y so for x i am choosing negative 5 and with uh, step size of 0 0.5 and the ending point is 5 and for y i am choosing negative 5 step size of 0 0.5 and the ending point is 5 2 after that we need to create the grid for x and y so here we have x comma y that is equals to mesh grid x y that is a built in function and that will directly convert our this range into grids so after that we need to define z as a function of x and y <clears throat> so z is equals to sine and we have a square root of x square plus y square After that, we need to create the surface plot. So, for that, I am using surf x, y, z, and uh, it's totally optional if you want to define line width, that's fine, and if you want to skip it, that is also fine. So let's customize it so initially i am choosing my title that should be the 3d surface plot after that i am choosing x label so i am choosing x axis y label 
so i am choosing y axis z label so i am choosing z axis okay let's run it so this is our 3d surface plot in front of us and automatically the grids are on at the background so if you don't want to see the grids so you can give a command of grids off and run it so it's automatically the background will be cleared so for better appearance i am using an other built in command that is shading enter p that basically used for smooth shading for better appearance so if i run it so see there is no lines in between there is a smooth shading graph if you want more customization so i am using a color map jet so that basically use a colorful color map so if i run it so see that we have more colors that is red green blue yellow dark blue like this so another thing i am using a color bar so this will appear at the right side of the graph so this will add color scale so if i run it so see here we have the color bar by using a color map jet we have more darker shades and shading enter p that is basically a better appearance and it gives you a smooth shading so this is our x axis which used from negative 5 to 5 this is y axis negative 5 to 5 and this is the title that is 3d surface plot okay in this video you will understand that how surface plot visualize 3d data Secondly, we used mesh grid in order to create a mesh, and uh, for the surface plot, we used S U R F surf that is our built-in command, and then we customize our plot for better presentation and clarity. So that's it. So if this video helped you learn something new, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more MATLAB tutorials every week. So have any questions or want to see plots with real data? drop them in the comment thank you so much for tuning in i'll see you soon in the next video take care